after developing the framework after understanding the various cases diagrammatically of the Kober model and also studying the rare case now we are going to do the Kober model in a numerical way so a numerical will be considered here we'll be having a demand function we'll be having a supply function and once we have the demand and supply functions we can uh, specify their forms that is the demand function is unlagged because subscript is t and the subscript of uh, price in supply function is t minus 1 it means that it is a lagged supply function and this is the precise equation that we have the standard form and then the numerical form here the standard form and then the numerical form which is given so easily I can extract the value of alpha I can extract the value of beta and the value of delta as well as the value of uh, gamma and delta uh, minus is of the formula so we would be omitting it as we can see it is omitted already now we can equate these two values uh, qd is equal to qs at equilibrium this is the requirement that we have been studying and once we put the value of qd here we put the value of qs here we will get this uh, set of steps that we can do easily simple algebra will provide us with the uh, difference equation in its uh, unideal form because there is a coefficient here which is other than one so we have to normalize it just like we did in the standard form we have divided it by three because we want to get rid of this three instead we can accept one here so after dividing by three we get this uh, certain situation that is 21 becomes 7 4 becomes 4 by 3 and 3 becomes 1 now this is still not in an ideal form because the subscript uh, is still t it has to be t plus 1 in order to uh, be called as a first order difference equation so we introduce in in this subscript which is not in accordance to the standard form so in order to make it adjacent to the standard form we have introduced a lead in the price subscript there you can see in the box it is done and uh, this box can be uh, solved here it will be cancelled out here it will be introduced as t plus 1 so clearly now it is in that standard form where t plus 1 is in subscript of the first one and then in the uh, subscript of the second variable it is t and extracting the values is easy now the value of a is extracted the value of c is extracted y t plus 1 is instead p, t p t plus 1 and instead of y t we have p t now it's time for us to decide the formula we know that it gets decided on the basis of the value of a which is equal to 4 over 3 which is definitely not equal to minus 1 it means that we can use the first of the two formulas that we have to solve a first order difference equation so let us see that how this formula is used here there we are the formula is when a is not equal to minus 1 so this is the formula in its standard form b is equal to minus a so we write minus a instead of b and a is substituted here a is being substituted c is being substituted and finally we s get a simpler solution you can do this simple algebra a is being carried and now it is substituted that is 4 over 3 so we have uh, a labeled solution that a is equal to this capital a the arbitrary constant now it is definitized if we have the value of p naught and then we have the complementary function and we have the particular integral so the time path is now developed in case of the Cobb model and it is equal to this and it was basically based upon this uh, demand function and the supply function we should also talk about the uh, nature and the pattern of the time path because uh, this is uh, very much uh, critical when it comes to the dynamic stability so the nature is determined by the absolute value of b which is equal to 4 over 3 minus sign which uh, we uh, uh, you know introduce um, 
the absolute width and it will get rid of the minus sign. So it is still greater than one uh, which is implying that it is non-convergent or it is divergent because 4 over 3 is greater than 1. But when we talk about the pattern, uh, it is determined by the actual value b and here it is with a negative sign so it is less than 0. It means that we are dealing with an oscillatory case. So the time path in this case would be divergent in nature as well as it will be oscillatory in pattern. So it is definitely dynamically unstable because it is divergent. So we can try to plot it as well this uh, situation that we have. We can make a rough sketch here. If this is the equilibrium price, it would start from here somewhere and it will go in this fashion. So this would be the diagram is not precise, but definitely it gives us the rough idea of how we can plot this situation. The demand curve, and the supply curve, we can mention them here as well. The whole equation can be written. Here we can write QS and we can write the equation. We can also come up with the dynamic side of this and that would be os uh, oscillatory, but at the same time it will be explosive will go farther and farther and it will go in a explosive manner. So, this is how we can uh, understand a given uh, numerical example of a cobweb model simply by using the set of formulas that we developed before and this was the formula, this was the extraction of values as compared to the standard form and this is the standard form itself. This was the adjustment for the standard form and this was the equa equation that was developed on the basis of the market equilibrium condition QD is equal to QS and this was the elaboration of the given equations and this was the given data. So now we have completed the Cobweb model in this fourth video and we have done it numerical as well by uh, considering this numerical example. Thank you.